Hey, this is uh, instructions on how with the high speed memory cube application how to set manual test limits. Okay, so I've got this on the screen. I've uh, VNC'd into uh, a scope. Um, so what you do is you go into tools, compliance limits, uh, create edit limit set. Now um, you should get this menu. You should load the template. Um, start with this. Um, if you have a user to find one, great. Um, but when you start out, uh, generally you'll have blank. Now I've already created one here, but if it says file name and blank, what you need to do first is go back to official limit sets, okay, and load that first. And then we can open that up, take a view. So then we get a list of all these. Now, what we want to do is edit this um, and then save it as a new file. So I'm going to call this uh, uh, test limits two and I'm gonna save uh, save that um, so you got to give it a name I, I'm pretty sure that or otherwise it won't let you save it shared reference I don't know uh, uh, that may be something internal that you can use save that uh, so test limbs two test limb two we'll call it save that now uh, you can go and start editing this double click so you want to edit this value here, double click it, and now we can go in here and say, ah, we want the max to be uh, uh, value. If I can do that, it's letting me. Oh, it is, it's just not updating here very quickly with the VNC, but I'll put 13, I'll say okay, and now we see it here. So then we're gonna save that. Um, so that's good. So then when we go to use the test limits, I believe uh, connect uh, configure act we're going to go into debug refresh limit set we don't want to use this one we want to use user defined limit sets we're going to browse we're going to use test lim2 and activate so now we're going to use this so now if we go into setup here select tests and we I believe this is the test we modified I cannot remember uh, I could be wrong <laughs> anyway you'll have to edit through there but this is the basic way that you would do that so well you can go back and edit the DC common mode output voltage test um, let's go back compliance limits create edit limit set load template from this one browse test limb 2 load DC common mode output there you go uh, common mode let's just pull this to the side that's the one we want to change let's change it to something else let's change it to point 4 and point 2 and this is going to be a bogus test but I'm just doing it for the purposes of the demonstration we say save we go here okay and now um, we're gonna go and back and reload it I believe we have to go back configure uh, let's refresh that activate refresh now oops test limb two yep yeah. select tests yeah here we go so now when I have it checked here we see the pass limits are this now so we've edited those so this is how you can make adjustments to that